Hey everyone, Austin here, and today we're doing another Morrow Tries It. And, if you can't tell, look at that. That's right, Mountain Dew Kickstart, my old enemy. Although this time it's a bit different. This is Mountain Dew Kickstart Recharge. Let's see, caffeine, antioxidants, 5% juice. Which, 5% juice, I think that's a little funny because on the can it says... Flavored sparkling juice beverage blend from Concentrate with other natural flavors. But notice how it calls it a flavored sparkling juice beverage, but there's only 5% juice in there, so it's mostly water, not actually juice. Looking over here at the um, nutrition facts, it actually has 100% of your daily vitamin C, which surprises me. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm very shocked to see that. Uh, total carbohydrate, only 5% of your daily value, 14 grams of which is sugar. And then sodium, 5% of your daily value, there are only 60 calories in the can. I find this shocking because it is Mountain Dew, well, a Mountain Dew product, but there's only 60 calories in this can, which is 12 ounces. And this cost $1.79, I believe, at my local convenience store. Now, without further ado, how about we take a try? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's almost a moment of truth. And it has a very citrusy smell to it. Um, this is Energizing Blood Orange. Uh, the only other one I saw was Blueberry Pomegranate, and I figured, well, Blood Orange has never let me down, unlike Mountain Dew Kickstart. Now let's see if this will taste like cough syrup, like the other one did. Very nice subtle orange smell though. Well, words to describe it. Uh, the blood orange was the first flavor to hit, followed very quickly by kind of a bitter coating on your tongue. You still get that orange, but there's a bitterness to it as well, and that was a big issue with the original Mountain Dew Kickstart that I had tried, which I believe was Black Cherry, where it has this bitter flavor to it that just kind of takes away from the rest of the taste of it. This one doesn't suffer from that as severely, and I'll even go ahead and take another sip. I'm not making disgusted faces at it, which is always a plus. Even so, it's it's not good, but it's really not awful. And it's a low calorie count. It does have all of your vitamin C for the day, as well as a few other uh, vitamins. Not 200% of your daily value, but to a good chunk of it. And for only 60 calories, it's really not that bad for you for what most would consider a, a soft drink, since it does have Mountain Dew on there. Alright, well, I'm going to give it a solid 2.5 out of 5, and of course, my buddy Cass here <laughs> decided to come along to help, help me give that rating, so thank you, Cass. I appreciate it, bud. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, for only 60 calories, you know, it's not too bad for a Mountain Dew product. And, again, while the flavor may not be all there, it's not the worst thing you could get, and the flavor is definitely not the worst I've ever had. Thanks for watching, everyone. Short and sweet Morrow tries it, but like, you know, I said in a very recent video, I am kind of getting back in the swing of things. Leave a like if you like the video. Dislike if you don't. It's free country. Subscribe for more, and of course, link in the description down below for the Morrow Pictures Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.